Hey YouTubers, JB Coins here with another video. This one should be really cool and an eye opener for a lot of you folks that may not have been around in 2009 that are in the hobby or that may not have been in the hobby in 2008, 9, and 10 when the economy tanked. And you may also be wondering, for example, why we constantly harp on 2009 coins, regardless of what they are, are very hard to find, even though the mint may have some high mintage numbers on some of them. The nickels come to mind. But this is about the 2009 American Silver Eagle coins, and to some extent, the 2010, and we'll show you in a second. This website is a great resource that I found on Silver Eagles. It's called SilverEagleGuide.com and it has all the mintages and as it says in, in what you can see, the, tables the table below which we're going to cover includes bullion in the first column, column, proof in the second column, and uncirculated in the third column. Now they're required by law, by federal law, to mint the bullion coins first, which is why they're in the first column. If the, for any reason that they cannot produce what they have been authorized and required to produce, the bullion comes first, the proof comes second, and the circul uncirculated is if they have enough uh, wherewithal resources, whatever, to do it. The next paragraph is the tell here. These figures rep represent the final audited mintages or last reported sales provided by the U.S. Mint. So, 2009, there's, an art, there's a great article in coinnews.net, and the heading is 2009 American Silver Eagle Coins Suspended. The date of this is March 9th of 2009, okay? And it says, before they even went on sale, Proof and uncirculated 2009 Silver Eagle coins are temporarily suspended according to the U.S. Mint. The highly popular silver dollars were, are minted specifically for collectors bearing the W Mint mark and also the uncirculated coins. All 2009 coins are on hold for the same reasons sales of American Eagle proofs were canceled early in 2008 Eight, at the beginning of the crisis, unprecedented demand was what they cited in 2008 and 9. What really happened was they ran out of silver. They suspended silver production, except as required by law due to the Silver Eagle bullion requirement in Public Law 9961 that they must produce the bullion in quantities sufficient to meet public demand. And it says they will resume the American Eagle silver proof and uncirculated coin programs once sufficient inventories of silver bullion blanks can be acquired to meet market demand for all three coin products. So up to this point, until I found this article way back from 2009, every time I mentioned that they ran out of silver, I got all the boo birds, right? This article, way back in 2009, mint release from the West Point Mint and the U.S. Mint, stated they didn't have the silver bullion blanks, uh, the, the silver blanks sufficient to produce the proof and uncirculated coins. Then I found this website, and the table is really cool because you scroll down through here, and what you realize is 1986, they had the first year, they had 5 million plus bullion coins and 1.4 plus proof coins. That proof sale is still the highest on record, and yet the 86 coins bring a significant premium if you have an 86 proof. Now you scroll down and you see all the asterisks they referred to. The 95W is still the American Eagle to try and find, but look at 2008 and nine and 10, and I'm gonna stop it right there. 2008, they suspended the uncirculated 
burnished at 533,757. 2009, look at the two goose eggs. All they produced was 30,459,000 of the bullion coins that they were required to by law. They produced zero proof, zero uncirculated. In 2010, they produced 849,861 proof, but they still produced zero uncirculated. And 2011, they resumed production with 409,766 uncirculated and 947,000 of the proofs. So you can see that for that two year period, starting at the end of 2008 and early in 2009 and well into 2010, they stopped producing coins that they were not required to produce by law. They also, it also impacted coins that were not silver. It did impact silver collector sets, silver proof sets, and all the other coins that, that I mentioned at the beginning of the video from 2009 were all impacted and some of the 2010s of those coins were impacted as well. We've done videos on both of those years and why you should hoard those coins if you find them in good condition. You're not gonna find a 2009 American Silver Eagle that's legitimate unless it is a bullion coin. If it's got a mint mark on it, I would be very skeptical about buying it from someone. I would immediately send it off for verification and attribution to someone like NGC uh, to have them check it before I spend a penny on it because there are none, zero, like it says on the board, known to exist, not even samples. So this is pretty amazing when you can actually prove and show on the board the numbers. So this proves that the 2009 is a very, very special year in our lifetimes to get coins, keep coins, and put them away. And hope you guys found this really interesting. Uh, it's been something that I've been researching on and off for quite a while. And to put all the pieces together all at one time, finally, is really exciting for me. Hopefully it's exciting for you guys and um, that this is really helpful for you and explains why you shouldn't listen to the boo boards on anything related to 2009 and 10 in particular. Look at the mint marks, look at these types of, I mean, look at the mintages for 2009 and 10 for various coins and you'll see what we're talking about. So again, please, Leave comments below as always. And as always, please continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, JNB signing off.